Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Carol Lombard. I've also created this makeup look inspired by her. Carol Lombard was born Jane Alice Peters on the 6th of October 1908 in the US in Indiana. She was born into a wealthy family and her parents separated when she was young. So her mother took her and her brothers to live in LA. As a child, Lombard loved playing sports and while playing basketball with some friends, she was noticed by a film director who cast her in a small role in his film A Perfect Crime in 1921 when Lombard was 12 years old. Lombard really enjoyed acting, so after that she started to look for other roles. When she was 15 years old, she was scouted by an employee of Charlie Chaplin who offered her a screen test for his film The Gold Rush. She didn't get the role, but her screen test was noticed by other companies. And when she was 16, Lombard signed a contract with Fox Film Corporation. Her first leading role was in the drama Marriage in Transit, but despite some good praise for her performance, her one-year contract with the company was not renewed. In 1927, Lombard was in a car accident where glass from a broken windshield left a scar on her face and she then feared that this would mean the end of her acting career. But her boss, Max Sennett, gave her the nickname Carol of the Curves so audiences would focus more on her body instead of her face. Lombard then performed in slapstick comedies for Max Sennett's company as one of the Sennett bathing beauty. Lombard later returned to Fox for a one-off role in the western The Arizona Kid in 1930. After the film's success, Lombard signed a contract with Paramount Pictures and she appeared in five films in 1931. She acted alongside Paramount's top male star William Powell and the two soon were in a relationship together. They married on the 6th of June 1931. Her marriage to Powell increased Lombard's fame. She went on to star in a number of big films, but in 1933, after 26 months of marriage, Lombard and Powell divorced, although they remained good friends. They acted together in the film My Man Godfrey, which received six nominations at the 9th Academy Awards, including Lombard for Best Actress. I actually saw this film not that long ago and I really enjoyed it. By 1937, Lombard was one of Hollywood's most popular actresses and also the highest paid star in Hollywood. In 1936, Lombard had started a relationship with the King of Hollywood, Clark Gable. The two married in 1939. On the 16th of January 1942, Lombard took an aircraft home to California after attending a war bond rally in Indiana. Tragically, the aircraft crashed, killing everybody on board, including Lombard, Lombard's mother, Gable's agent, and 15 US troops. Lombard was 33 years old. Her last film, To Be or Not To Be, was released one month after her death. Lombard is among the most successful and admired film personalities in Hollywood and is listed as one of the greatest American female screen legends of classic Hollywood cinema. She is quoted in saying, It is easier to die when the heart is full of gratitude. Now I'm going to show you how I got this look inspired by Carol Lombard. I'm first applying my Stay Matte Foundation from Rimmel London. To set the foundation, I'm applying my powder from Max Factor. For blush, I'm using this cream blush from Max Factor. I'm not going to attempt to cover my brows again for this look, it's always very tricky for me covering my brows, so instead I'm just trying to make them look a little thinner by brushing the hairs down and now I'm just filling them in. For the eyes I'm using my natural matte palette from Too Faced and I'm first starting with the shade Nude Goals and applying this all over my lids.
Now taking the shade less is more, I'm applying this through and above my crease. Now taking the shade Risky Biz, I'm applying a thin line along my upper lash line. Taking the shade Less Is More again, I'm blending this along my lower lash line. I'm then going to curl my lashes and apply my Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm also going to add on false lashes for this look. I'm now going to apply my Push Up Angel Mascara to my lower lashes and I want to apply a lot of mascara to my lower lashes and I'm using this mascara because the brush is very perfect in getting every individual lash. I'm now applying my red lip pen, emphasising the cupid's bow and overlining the top lip slightly, but not so much with the lower lip. And for the lips I'm using Diva Red from Rimmel London. And that completes this look inspired by Carol Lombard. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!